Hey guys, welcome back to Garage Theory once again. Uh, so I'm picking up where I left off on the uh, 2JZ, uh, I guess, rebuild. Um, so this video is going to contain uh, me rebuilding the, not technically rebuilding, but more like uh, resurfacing the cylinder head. Um, it's going to be the garage style machining, I guess you would say, the ghetto machining because I'm trying to build this motor as cheap as possible. Um, if I was gonna go all out, this motor probably cost about $15,000 with all the machining and all the internals, but I'm not going that direction. I'm trying to go less than $500 possibly. But um, anyways, I'll show you where I'm at right now. Um, that is the cylinder head. You can see this is a... Uh, a heavy piece of steel, probably weighs about uh, maybe 18, 20 pounds. Um, as you can tell, I, I kind of started already. Um, I already took some off. You can see some of this stuff is all caked on there. Let me show you. Let me see, let me show you that. You see the uh, valves intake and exhaust is really built up with carbon all the way across um, but yeah you see how I kind of started surfacing this thing you see some low spots there a few there but it's still pretty much the uh, head gasket material is still kind of sticky or whatever that's on there so I'm gonna show you how I do that so let's start with all right, so I'm gonna grab this big piece of steel and I put, uh, I got the sandpaper. I'm gonna start off at 80 grit and work my way up to, uh, I don't know, maybe 600, I'm not really sure. So this, Sandpaper is left over from when I did body work on a Datsun. So pretty much keep make sure the surface is clean. Go ahead and stick that on there like so. And you know what's gonna happen. All you do is drag it across. So I'm not applying pressure downwards, I'm just, just dragging this across. Because if you apply pressure downwards, even though it's a flat surface, you'll start causing it to uh, curve. Even though it's heavy and flat. So you kind of just let the weight of the steel do all the work and the sandpaper. I grind off quite a bit of it. Go ahead and inspect the surface again. Let's see. 
so inspect the surface it's looking a lot better I still have a slight low spot right there but around the cylinder you can tell it's a nice smooth um, surface now same thing here this one's a little low you see some residue of the head gasket so you pretty much just keep working at it a little low there until you get a nice consistent um, surface it may, it may take some time but it'll save you some money if, because uh, machining, I'm not really sure how much this stuff would cost if you machined it and took it somewhere. I'm assuming probably about $300. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to do it here at home. Um, so after this grit, I'm going to step it up to about 120. I think this is 80. Yeah, this is 80. Step to 120, 240, and, uh, you know, maybe 600 to see how how it looks and how it turns out. I see a lot of guys on the internet, they stop at like 240. Um, I might do the same, but yeah, uh, just stay tuned and I'll keep going at it. I'm gonna do 220. Uh, this will be my last pass. Oh man, I might have just nicked it right there. No, I didn't. So, some WD 40, spread it everywhere. And I go at this for about uh, maybe two minutes. So that's done. So let's take a look at it. Let's 
So you see the surface. I'm gonna wipe it down. So take a look at it. Let's see if I could get justice on this to the reflection right there. All the way across. So there is this little scarring here, but this is not part of the uh, mating surface. This is kind of where the gasket kind of sits on there. But your focus is really the seal around here where the chambers are and for any water passages to seep through and all that good stuff so from just the look of it you don't see any low spots at all this just wipes off it's WD-40 this wipes off see that Let's get a uh, clean rag. Give it one good cleaning so we could double check the work. There we go, look at that. That's cylinder one. Under two, three, four, five, and six. So next I'm gonna clean these off, but that's on a later video. Um, I'm waiting for my uh, spring compressor to remove these valves off the seat. I got new uh, seals right here, valve seals. I ordered online. I'm going to clean all this carbon buildup off all these uh, valves and I'm going to reseat them um, onto the head and make sure that it seats well, you know, with that little, t like a wooden stick tool that you kind of just rotate. I'm probably going to modify that tool to put on a drill and then some cutting compound and reseat these uh, valves. But for now, that's this video. As you can tell, it's a pretty sweet, easy process. It just takes time. It took maybe about an hour to do this. Um, I mean, the, the head wasn't warped at all. It just I just wanted to get it cleaned up and um, have a better mating surface when I put it onto the, the block right here. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the valve video that's coming up probably next week. And I'm going to show you how to clean it, seat it, and the whole nine yards. And this whole time, my supervisor, Dave over there, is just always watching. Nah, he's, he's learning, so he's learning. I'm learning, I guess, as I go. But yeah, take a look at these valves. Next time you see them, look at this stuff won't even come off. Next time you see them, they'll be super clean. There's a little spark plug right there. So this is the intake side. This is the exhaust side. You can tell all the carbon on the exhaust. Alright, see you guys.